All right, sorry for the wait, but uh, we've been kind of cleaning up the workflow for binding, and uh, uh, which is the process I'm about to explain. Uh, it took us a little bit of time. Uh, we, and in the process, a lot of things have changed as well. So I've, uh, I've got a new setup that I want to start with. So you can download that um, by using the link below the video here. But before we get into um, the new setup, I just want to show you how it's not that different than what we had before. You'll see that uh, the structure is, 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 actually, is, is, is actually the same. So you see it's all in the ohm component still uh, inside of UI. The old system also had a UI. There's three layouts. There's the layout here. There's a stack of layout here and here. That's the same thing here. So there's the knob area, the slider area, toggle. Um, there's the middle button area. I added one more um, panel here, which is for later. Uh, and uh, these are the same, exactly the same as here. And this is uh, this set of buttons here and so on. So if we go inside and look at the structure, you'll see the layouts are all the same names. Uh, and then if we go inside of layout one, you'll see I have cleaned up the names as well a little bit. So instead of being section one, two, and three, it's the knobs, sliders, and toggles sections. And, um, and then the same goes for layout two. It used to be section one and section two but I just renamed it to be, well, there's the extra control panel I added, and then there's the button section, and the, I called this lower um, set of widgets the mixer. And then in the other layout, we have the combo panel, which is this panel here, which is this guy here, and we've got the same slider and, and toggles, and that's it. Okay, so um, if, now that we understand, we're kind of starting where we were in video five, I just want to uh, go over some uh, important features. So first of all, we have a, um, uh, a notion of, the, uh, of, of a package for widgets. And so all of our widgets, as we know, are located inside of UI basic widgets. <clears throat> but there is a package, uh, and this holds every widget every widget that is available currently, which are all of these uh, core widgets and then all of the main set of widgets as well. So if we import this package, then um, we can do various things like update our, our current widgets uh, and, and things like that. So if we bring in basic widgets from the package folder, then you'll see it comes in and it has a version. The version is 10.8. Is 10 and uh, if we go out and look at our uh, widgets on the widget page of a widget I, we have a version and you'll see this version is actually out of date it's 10.6 and so obviously you know uh, if you were working on the system or, or building a UI two months ago when you get a new version of touch uh, obviously there's going to be lots of fixes to these widget components and so this is the process you use to upgrade your user interface systems so if we go back up to project one and go to basic widgets and click update deployed, then it'll go out and it'll find all the widgets in your file. And it does that by finding um, uh, any node called TD basic widget. And as well, you'll see uh, it has a clone and it's going back to op TD widgets. So this is how the connection is made between the uh, package and its deployed systems. The package can find um, all widgets because they're tagged, and the uh, widgets themselves will connect, the clone parameter will connect back to OptD uh, basic widgets. OptD basic widgets is an op shortcut. So if we go to into slash project one, and then go to the common page of basic widgets, you'll see that this is called TD basic widgets. It's, there can only be one of these in your um, in your file. So uh, if I copy and paste basic widgets, you'll see that it, it'll, it will give us an error, right? So it's saying there's two there's multi, there's two um, basic widgets in this. Uh, that's not that's not allowed. So uh, we can delete one. And so if you're going to upgrade from and and you already have basic widgets in your file, so let's say you're going from 10.8 to 10.9, simply delete basic widgets 
it doesn't need to be in the file. It just is, is um, uh, it, it, it needs to be there if you're gonna update. And then bring in, go into the uh, palette and bring back basic widgets back in. At this point, it would have a higher version number and you could uh, update deployed. And that's how you update your widgets.